All right, guys, so I just got through immigration and I am in Palau. This is my 86th country, you guys, and I am so excited for this. I didn't have my phone when we were flying in, but I really wish I did because the views were just absolutely otherworldly. It was just so beautiful. Um, you guys, I've been in Southeast Asia for almost three months now, and I don't know if I remember how to drive. I haven't driven anywhere for three months. Um, so I, I rented a car here because I wanted to go to all the snorkeling all the cool places guys, this is what the airport looks like too it's really cute it's a very small little airport but very convenient fast immigration took maybe 30 minutes um not too bad lots and lots and lots of uh chinese and japanese visitors and, and taiwanese visitors um come here so um you'll see all of them when you're when you're visiting but they use usd here i'm so excited um <laughs> so uh yeah, and, and the United States, if you guys didn't know, we provide uh, Palau's national defense from other neighboring countries. So we're pretty close with Palau. Um, probably not a place that you've even ever heard of if you're from the United States, but um, yeah, we, we actually do have uh, some connections with this island, so, or this country, I should say. So I'm really, really excited. I can't wait. Wow, you guys, look at this. Look at this big department store and grocery store. Should I stop in here? Oh, you can't see it on the camera. I'm gonna stop. I want to look in here. This is huge. I want to see this. Look at this. Doesn't this look, this looks like a party, you guys. Heck yeah. Maybe I should go check in and then come back. No, you know what? I'm already here. I'm going to go. I want to go look at this. This looks cool. Look at this. You have a department store and a grocery store in here. Oh, this is, this is going to be awesome. I'm going to go get some snacks. Heck yeah. You guys, this is so awesome. I don't even have to convert the prices because everything is in USD. Look at what a nice grocery store this is. I'm so excited. Oh, wow, you guys, they have tons of clothes up here and they have ice cream over there. Okay guys, so I got some stuff there. Everything is so reasonably pr priced, you guys. Everything was like, all the chips are like 30, 40 cents um, USD. Everything's really inexpensive in the grocery stores here, um, which is surprising because usually islands have, islands are more expensive usually because of the tariffs and the shipping and, and everything, but um, no, it's, it's not, it's not overly priced here. This is like my favorite thing ever, you guys. Peanut mochi. I had this over in Taiwan. This is so good, you guys. And you, you get like some condensed milk and dip it in some condensed milk and oh, it's so good. I don't know if you guys saw my Taiwan video, but Mm, I tried that for the first time yesterday and oh my gosh, it was so good. And then this thing, you guys, they had clothes in there and I wanted to go buy some clothes. I need more clothes anyways. This is a jumpsuit and look how tiny it is. It's called, it's a loungewear, it's called a lounge jumpsuit. This thing's going to be so comfortable and it's so tiny. I can put that in my bag and travel with it. And I went and got some gelato. This is Choco coffee, chocolate coffee. Um, and it's okay, but I'm really excited to go see my room. Let's go, let's go see it. Let's go see what it looks like. Wow, you guys, this place is cute. Okay, so we'll start with the bathroom. Pretty, just basic bathroom, has a shower. Are these all toothbrushes? Wow, you guys, look how many razors and toothbrushes they give you. All of these are hairbrushes too. I don't think I've ever seen a place that does this. They, are, they do not short their clients. They just give you everything. This is cool though. I like that they do that. I, I used to have an Airbnb and I would do this for people too. If they wanted to take all of them, I didn't really care. I was like, sure, take all of them. I'm not gonna take all of them, but that's really neat that they just give you as many as you want. Um, I also really like this. This like, I don't know what this is called, bamboo or something? I don't know. It looks really cute. Wow. I'm excited. This really fits the theme. I feel like I'm in Palau, you guys. This is so cool. This is really cool, you guys. I'm so excited for the morning because you have your own little patio. I don't know if you guys can see it, but you can come out here and there's like a little ashtray if you're a smoker, I guess, in a seat, but you can come out here and enjoy the sunrise. So I'm really excited for that in the morning. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like. I'm gonna get some rest, but I'll see you guys in the morning and we're gonna go snorkeling. Guys, I also just wanted to show you the stamp that they give you in your passport when you come to Palau. Um, this is the Palau Pledge and I got some of it's cut off, but I think it says, um, 
Well, I'll just read it from where I can see it. As your guest to preserve and protect your beautiful and unique island home, I vow to tread lightly, act kindly, and explore mindfully. I shall not take what is not given. I shall not harm what does not harm me. The only footprints um, I shall leave are those that will wash away. Um, and Iceland does something like this too, actually. They have like a pledge to keep the, um, the country clean when you go visit. Um, but I just thought it was so unique that they actually stamp this in your passport and you are supposed to sign that line and I will sign it um, for when I leave because that's that's what you do. But um, yeah, super unique. So <laughs> I think they're one of the only countries that, um, that does this kind of stamp with a, a pledge. So very cool. All right, guys. So this is my very first morning in Palau and honestly my only morning in Palau because I am leaving to get um, on a plane tonight at 2 a.m. to go to Micronesia. So um, I'm going to make the very best of it today. I'm going to try to go uh, kayaking and snorkeling today. I'm super, super excited, but I just wanted to show you guys some of the views outside of my window. Um, it's just so lush and green here and beautiful. And I'm just so excited for the day. This is going to be so much fun. Okay, guys, let's step out onto this patio. Oh, look at that water over there, you guys. How beautiful is that? So, so gorgeous. I'm so glad I rented a car. Um, the car was super cheap too. If you guys are coming to Palau, you can get a really good deal. Um, I booked it at Alamo. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go explore the entire island if I can. And then I'm gonna try to go kayaking uh, today as well and snorkeling, of course. Okay, guys, I'm so excited. So this place is so awesome. Um, I, I found this place on Google Maps. It's called, what is this place called? Anyways, the, basically they just give you a kayak to rent. It's $25 for half the day, or I think it's $27 or something like that for half the day. Um, but you get, you get it for half the entire day and you can take your snorkeling gear, go snorkeling outside, um, go all the way to uh, the jellyfish pond, which is where I'm gonna go. Um, it's called Welcome to, oh, Paddling Palau. It's called Paddling Palau, you guys. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna be paddling Palau. And uh, I'm just so excited. I'm gonna run and go get some food before I start this and some coffee because um, I'm a little bit tired. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna come back and do this. I'm so excited, you guys. And then tonight, I'm gonna return my rental car to the airport. Um, and I'm gonna head over to Micronesia. So I'm just so excited. This is just... Okay guys, so I got one of the most traditional, um, most traditional breakfast items uh, that you could possibly get in the Pacific Island, the Spam Masupi. So this is basically just a piece of Spam. Uh, this is teriyaki Spam. It has some rice and some seaweed around it. And to be honest, I can't remember the last time I had Spam. I don't eat it a lot, but it's very, very popular here. So I'm gonna have some Spam Masupi. There's also an Egg Masupi that they have. Um, so I got one of these too. It's garlic Spam uh, with egg. So <laughs> we're gonna try them. Um, I wanna see what they're like. They sell these everywhere at the convenience stores around Palau um, and everybody eats them. Everyone was in the convenience store here like buying them. So um, yeah, I'm excited. Okay guys, so here is some Spam Masupi. This is teriyaki Spam Masupi. Hmm. You guys, this is good. This is a good snack. I see why they like it. This is very calorie dense though, so you definitely don't want to eat a lot of this. Um, but yeah, it's a good little snack and it's not that bad. I don't eat Spam a lot, but teriyaki Spam, it's not that bad, you guys. I kind of like it. And this is some egg and Spam. Hmm. I'm not as big of a fan of this one. I think the Spam is good with the teriyaki sauce. I think those two go together really, really well, but the Spam on its own, I'm not a big fan of Spam. I'm gonna be honest. I don't like Spam that much, but I think the teriyaki one was actually really good. All right, guys, I went back to the exact same place that I went to last night and I just got some coffee uh, boba because I'm just so tired tonight, um, or today. <laughs> I'm tired, you guys. Um, but I'm ready. I'm going to go back. We're going to go kayaking. I'm so excited for this, you guys. You have no idea. Right now, we're driving over the Japanese Palau Friendship Bridge. It's a very nice bridge. Great suspension. Um, but no, this is one of the larger bridges in Palau. And you can look out and see the pretty water. It's really nice. 
so beautiful. You guys, it's so beautiful out here in the water. It's just so blue. The camera's not capturing it well enough, but this is just so relaxing and peaceful. There's also been some thunder, so it might rain. If it does, that's completely fine. Um, I just wanna show you what this uh, place gave to me too. I thought this was really cool. They just kind of gave me a map. And this is where I started, paddling pal um, Palau. And then I'm trying to get over to this jellyfish pond over here to go snorkeling. Um, they also give you this little like bracelet thing that goes onto your ankle. And so you can stay with your kayak while you snorkel. Um, so I have a bathing suit on underneath and I'm just going to go out and go kayaking or uh, snorkeling. I'm sorry. <laughs> and then I can get right back into the kayak and find it easily. But that's where I'm trying to get to. Um, I was coming from here. So I'm just uh, trying to trying to head up there. You almost don't even need to go inside the water to go snorkeling because you can see all the fish and all the coral reef from outside. It's really, really cool. I love how shallow it is. I think this is the most shallow place I've ever kayaked or snorkeled. You can just see everything. Oh my gosh, you guys, there's an actual cave over here. So crazy. Wow. This is so cool. I can't believe that I'm out here doing this. I really like that I, I'm not on a tour. I like that they'll just give you a kayak and kind of let you do your own thing because it's so much fun just to go explore on your own and without a group or a tour guide. Ah, oh, you guys look at that thing. I don't know why I'm whispering, but down there. Oop. Spot got nailed in the face with the tree branch looking at that. Look how big that is. Wow, you guys, look at this. And shame on the person who threw trash in the water. That is not good. Look how beautiful this is. Once you get trash in it and it turns black, it doesn't go back to this. <laughs> so you have to be really careful. Oh, this is so beautiful.
don't know if you can see them, but there's little crabs on the back of this cave. And they're just crawling everywhere, just like making little tapping noises with their, their pinchers and everything. Oh, this is just so beautiful. This is just such a serene moment. I'm just like, oh, so beautiful. You guys, this is some of the bluest water I think I've ever seen. The camera does not do it justice. <laughs> it's like crystal blue. It's so pretty. Oh, you guys, this is so disheartening. The further you come out, the more trash you find. There's little bits and pieces everywhere. There's a little plastic thing in the water. Some of these uh, bodies of water are really, really still. So the trash just piles up here. Mm, really sad. I hope it doesn't continue like this or it's it's going to be like all the other places that you go snorkeling or scuba diving in. Um, this is like the bluest, prettiest crystal clear water I've ever seen. Um, and I hope it doesn't get polluted <laughs> with a bunch of garbage because it's so pretty. There's a coconut, you guys. Maybe I should... Maybe I should take that coconut. I kind of want to. Oh, it's heavy. This coconut almost flipped my kayak and it kind of smells like sewer for some reason. I don't know what this thing has been through, but I'm gonna throw it back in the water. Look at that. I'm sorry, I'm not very steady. I was not expecting that. Well, you guys, this is really, really cool. Um, yeah, this is just really, really awesome. I'm still trying to find jellyfish. I know that there's a jellyfish pond somewhere, um, but I'm still looking for it. But in the meantime, this is just so cool. I just can't believe how clear the water is. You can see everything all the way down to the very bottom. Every little fish, everything. Well, you guys, this was a lot of fun. Um, I've been kayaking for three or four hours now. Um, but this was so cool. And this is just such a beautiful place. Um, yeah, the shallow water is what makes it so special. Um, and of course, the, the sea life, of course, too. But um, yeah, the, the water is just so clear and so shallow, so you can just see everything. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to get uh, headed back uh, to the docking area. And uh, this is my only day here, you guys. I only had 24 hours, so I'm going to head back to the airport, unfortunately. But I think I will be revisiting Plow in the future. Um, this was super fun. And it would be a nice place to just come relax for a week just to... I don't know, just to hang out. You don't necessarily have to do anything special here either. You don't have to go, you know, snorkeling or diving or anything like that. You can kind of just enjoy it. Um, and this would, this would still be a really fun place just to, you know, spend time in.